So guys, uh, Luke here with uh, part two of the Quaxi Dailies. Uh, we're starting off here with Rampage against the machine, um, where you jump in Karvok and you kill 200 Mantid. Uh, it's got three abilities on this um, vehicle. Uh, the first one spits slime everywhere, as you can see him doing here. So gather them all up. Um, he's got ability 2, which is a knockback, which you can see this other guy here questing doing that, which is a bad idea. Because you just knock him away, it doesn't do that much damage, and it takes a lot longer. Um, that's the third method, you gather him up with the acid, and use the, the cleave ability that you've got, the ability 3. Um, if they're not dead off the cleave ability, then use the knockback. Um, that usually finishes them off. They uh, usually get you can pull packs, packs of 15, 20 uh, this way. Makes it a bit quicker. Um, that's about it for Rage Against the uh, Rampage Against the Machine using. Um, it gets a bit annoying because it's so slow, it takes a long time, it's quite boring to be honest. Uh, it's not like a bombing run quest. If it a bombing run quest, it'd be a bit more fun. Because it actually takes a little bit of skill to do a bomb and use to think about it and hit things. Uh, this is just button back in basically. Uh, gather up as many mobs as you want, you're not going to die. Um, what I will say is don't, don't gather up too many because you end up um, evading and running back, which is annoying because you spent all the time gathering more time and you don't get them. Um, that's it for. Rampage Games the Machine. Uh, as soon as you finish getting your 200, um, you get a loading screen and you go back to where you first jump into the car box. Um, the area I'm, I'm now, uh, if you turn right when you get in car box and you run up the hill, you find this with quite a big pack. Um, and pretty much after the air, there's another pack just as big. Um, I think the respawn fairly quick, which is my favourite place to go now after doing this video. I've been the day for some more time and I do come here straight away, nearly straight away, and uh, kill on the way up and it's, it's the best place to be. Um, you probably find quite a few people here though. If there's somebody here, just go somewhere else. Um, the elite, the big elite, they don't actually move. So if you run into one, don't waste your time trying to kill it because you only get one, and it takes a long time to do. You can't, you don't get it while you're leaning down. Um, this is the area where there's another massive pack. It's just to the right of here. Um, yeah, the elites don't move. They, you can knock them back and then run away from them, just ignore them. It, it, it's just a waste of time killing the elites. You don't get anything extra killing the elites. This is what I mean with the evasion, because I can't hit them now because they're evading. It's annoying. Here's the second big pack on this little platform here. It must be 20, 30 in these two packs here. As well as 20, 30 in the other. Uh, so, it's a tiny pack. It doesn't take that long. Uh, again, don't need to go to the sea. It's not the back and it's annoying. There's no other loot. It's a very annoying. Um, the cult quest is just annoying. Uh, it could make it a lot more fun. Um, yeah, so I'll just kill the other five. I'll almost get the video ahead since I've been speaking for long enough anyway. Uh, there we go. There's a load of screen. Take you back. I'm not sure, but at the time of filming the video, there was a bug where you have the combat bug, you're constantly in combat and you couldn't get out of combat. Um, the way I fixed it was I run up this little hill here and there's a couple of um, critters. I just attack the critters and it takes me out of combat after killing them. And then you can mount up and run off. Uh, yeah, so there we go, here's, here's a little critter. It's too far away. I'm still in combat. Um, I think the second one does it. 
the, the annoying thing is with these pet battle critters, if you right click on one, you'll end up going into a pet battle, which I didn't really want to do because these are level 22 and I think my Panthers uh, only just got to level 8 because I've not been doing it that much so they don't interest me. Right, the second question is um, brain food. Um, you have to collect four mushroom tongues from these mobs uh, at the moment to take a long time to kill. They're taking a, a hell of a long time to kill for me um, because here's quite low, we've got uh, 500k HP and they do a cleave type of ability which knocks you back, it's headbutt um, just move out of the way of it, it's simple uh, you can tame one of these with the mind control ability and have it as a pet and your pet is actually clever enough to move out of the way of this headbutt it's it's quite good, it just jumps behind whenever it's cast in it. Um, there's two areas. There's this area where I'm at now, which, as you can see, is quite popular with people. This is just outside the uh, Quaxi Quest Club. Uh, this one north. Um, the other area is a bit more northeast. Uh, it's closer to the area we're actually questing in today which is uh, Temple of Girthen, which is where all the quests are today. It's also where the secret quest is. Um, so just kill these and get the songs off them. The drop rate, I'd say one to three. The drop rate, which is quite annoying considering how long you take to kill and how many people are killing them and how little there are. Um, I think you should up the drop rate a bit more, maybe 100% drop rate would make it a lot better, or at least 50% drop rate. 30% um, is just way too low, it takes too long to do the quest. I mean, I'm not quite, I don't want Blizzard to give us everything, but, you know, when there's 49 daily quests to do every single day, um, you don't want to be spending 10-15 minutes on one daily quest. I mean, you, you need to have time to actually play the game too, you know, not just farm the rep, which is taking a hell of a long time. And the ridiculous one long game at the same time. So, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll skip this ahead, because uh, I think at the moment I've still only got one. Um, I'll skip this ahead to where I've finished this one, and I'll pick up with the next few tracks. So, see you in a minute. Alright guys, we're back. That was my um, last mushroom tongue. It took me another five minutes after I cut the video off. Um, the next quest I'm doing is putting an eye out, which is uh, you kill Maya beasts in the area until you get one Maya beast eye. Uh, the drop rate on these is like one in five or something similar. Uh, it's not too bad seeing as though they go down fairly quick. Um, what I'd say is while doing the Maya Beasts, as you see I'm looking at, at the trees here, um, while doing the Maya Beasts I'll look around and try and get the Sap Tapping quest, which you gather these um, little sap like tap on the um, tree. Uh, generally they're on these brown trees I've found, um, and you generally do have sap flies around. Uh, what you do is you right click it, it drips for a few seconds and collects it. Whenever you right click it, the sap flies attack you, no matter what. So, um, going with some kind of AoE or something. Because you drop down, I think they've only got like 10 15k or something. So, really low. Well. Um, a few hits and they're dead. Um, the Maya Beast, they have an ability called Maya, which basically tries to throw up on you. Um, just move out of the way of it, it's simple. Um, as I said, the drop rate is about 1 in 5. Um, quite simple to kill. Move out of the way of my ear, and we're good to go. Um, again, I'll skip the video here until I've done with the Maya Beast. Um, I'll probably gather a few stats in the meantime as well. And I'll see you for the next couple. Alright, we're back again. Um, 
there we go, we've got the My Beast Eye. Um, as far as I can tell, I can't see my uh, screen very well while I'm doing the uh, voiceover. I think I've still only got one Amber Sap. Um, but they're quite easy to come across, you only need six. It takes a couple of minutes to fly around the trees and pick them all up. Um, you see, there's one here, there's one just across the way here next to the steps. Um, sometimes people leave them, uh, it's quite silly. They just do the tap and then they don't actually pick the item up. Uh, lucky for me, I do. Um, what else we're doing is um, a quest called Ancient Empire, uh, where you collect eight tablets. Uh, so, as you're flying around, just have a look for the shiny little tablets on the floor. Um, they're, they're all over the area, as are the, the taps. Um, so, while you're doing the My Beast Eye quest, they're putting an eye out quest, and uh, there's another couple of quests called Nope, 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 where you have to burn the spider eggs using the Shadow Pan flamethrower which you can actually get as a DPS trinket it's quite a nice trinket uh, you buy that for justice points I'll go through all justice points in another video as well uh, all the gear and gearing up for heroics and raids and stuff like that um, these um, ambient guardians they stay uh, I don't, it looks like they're active, but unless you attack it, they don't attack you. Um, which is a quite good. Thing. So I tried to avoid these witches. Um, they don't do anything for the quest. They just waste your time and get on your nerves when you're trying to complete the quest. So just ignore them. Uh, the other quest here is uh, Dread Spinner Extermination, uh, which you have to kill eight of the spiders that are about. Um, they're quite easy, they go down quite quick uh, they've just got one ability to watch out for which is pretty much exactly the same as the Maya Beast ability um, you just have to move out of the way of it um, I can't remember what the ability is called but when we see one of them um, you'll know what I mean uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll skip this on to when I'm nearly done and we'll pick it up from there so be right back alright guys we're back again um, I think uh, I'm nearly done with uh, burning the eggs uh, basically that, that's what it is you look at the eggs you put the um, shadow pan gun and it burns them um, they're normally in packs with two or three around the spider so pull the spider um, you can also use it to start DPS in the spider. Um, it makes it burn for three percent of its damage. Uh, it's not much. I mean, it, you can DPS it yourself a lot quicker. But if you need to burn the eggs at the same time, it makes it that little bit quicker for you. Uh, as you can see, I'm shouting. I've got slash yell anybody for the secret claxy daily while I'm questing in the area. Um, Virtually every single time, there's uh, somebody who has, um, he doesn't know about the, the secret daily. Uh, I'm actually whispering this guy to try and get somebody else, somebody to join. Um, uh, and while I was whispering, some a hunter whispers me so I just whispered him back saying um, I'll show you how to do it yeah, it gives a daily quest um, and they always thank me afterwards you know it's like wow that's amazing I didn't know this was here kind of thing um, a lot of people don't I mean my secret quacks daily video now has got around a thousand views um, so that's a thousand people that know about it um, so I'll group up with this hunter um, we summon the secret daily boss mob even and we do that again um, so I'll skip till when I finish doing that because it, it's not needed um, and then I'll talk you through the rest of it 
Right, okay, we're back, and um, I'm pretty much done. Uh, I've got one spider left to kill, which I think is the last one. Um, the dread webbing is the ability that you need to watch out for. Um, you'll see the start casting it, just move to the side, or around the back, because uh, I think it hits for about 30k. Um, which, you know, it's, we're having 300k health, it, it doesn't make that much difference, but it's any damage mitigation is better than none. Um, so that's it, that's the end of the dailies here, just turn them in. Um, thanks for watching guys, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, share my video, uh, that way I can get more on, just because I know you like them. And I'll see you in the next one, cheers.